Elon Musk's brand new Starship 2.0 had the space industry quite surprised, even though he has always been a visionary who seeks to push the boundaries of what appears to be impossible. The visionary founder of the private space corporation SpaceX has been working relentlessly on his Starship rocket, a large, next-generation rocket that he thinks could soon deliver humans to the moon and even to Mars, ever since he publicly announced his dream of populating Mars. He's recently hinted at its awe-inspiring sequel, Starship 2.0, a much bigger and better rocket. Experts say SpaceX Super Heavy Starship 1.0 will be capable of launching 100 tons into orbit on a reusable basis, but Elon aims to make the Starship 2.0 four to eight times larger. What are the specifications of this new rocket? What great feats is it predicted to achieve? keep watching to find out. Elon Musk's space company SpaceX is nearing a significant milestone in the development of its Starship rocket. The company's billionaire CEO claimed today that a Starship prototype rocket would be ready to fly by July, with his space enterprise intending to reach orbit for the first time with the vehicle. According to Musk, the next generation of Starships, codenamed Starship 2.0, will be double the size of the spaceships that will transport people and cargo to the Moon and Mars. He announced the Starship version on Twitter. He made the remarks in response to an inquiry about his plans to build a larger version of the Starship in the future from one of his many Twitter followers. This would give Starship 2.0 a height of 775 feet and a width of 60 feet. This would make it the world's widest rocket. The cross-section area would be four times larger, and the capacity would be nine times that of the Starship 1.0. For the ultra-heavy Starship 2.0, the engines would almost certainly be updated. As a result, the future rocket could be capable of launching roughly 1,000 tons every launch. Doubling the diameter of a circle quadruples its area, in case you didn't know. A hypothetical Starship 2.0 with a doubling in height would have eight times the surface area and eight times the propellant tank volume, requiring roughly eight times the thrust and making the vessel eight times as heavy as Starship 1.0. That would imply that the next generation of SpaceX Super Heavies may deliver payloads weighing up to 1.764 million pounds to low Earth orbit, the Moon, and Mars, assuming orbital refueling is possible. This equates to around 881 U.S. tons. Musk will require extremely powerful engines to pull off a rocket as huge as this. We're talking about the Starship 2.0, of course. To get this rocket off the ground, about 60 Raptor 1.0 engines would be required. Fortunately, Elon has been working on the Raptor 2.0, a more powerful engine. The shortest distance between Earth and Mars is around 33.9 million miles, and Musk hopes to send over 1 million people to Mars by 2050. He added that for the colony to be self-sufficient, it would need to carry a million tons of material from Earth. This would be too expensive. Thus, Musk must devise a cost-efficient yet effective method of transporting humans between planets. That's when Starship 1.0 was discovered. Let's take a look at the present first generation of Starships, the Starship 1.0, to get a sense of how enormous Starship 2.0 is. When completely stacked with the Super Heavy rocket booster, Starship 1.0 rises approximately 400 feet tall, taller than the Statue of Liberty. It also dwarfs NASA's Saturn V, the rocket that sent American men to the moon during the Apollo mission. Since 2019, the massive rocket has gradually evolved into a silvery sentinel made of stainless steel alloy. The Starship has a diameter of 30 feet, making it larger than any other orbital spacecraft and allowing it to transport vast amounts of goods, massive celestial observatories, or maybe a big number of people. The Starship is more powerful than any previous known rocket in human history in terms of thrust. Starship is launched into space atop the Super Heavy Rocket Booster, which stands at 69 meters tall. After passing through the rigors of Earth's atmosphere, the two pieces of the spaceship separate. The Super Heavy launcher that propelled Starship off the ground returns to land near its launch pad as the spacecraft moves closer to orbit. A gigantic tower with artificial arms, dubbed chopsticks by Mr. Musk, 
will attempt to capture the descending rocket and gently land it. In comparison to the 29 Raptor V1 engines installed on Super Heavy B4, subsequent versions of the Super Heavy rocket booster B7 will use up to 33 Raptor V2 engines to significantly improve the Starship's engine-related capabilities. The Starship 1.0 is a disposable rocket that can carry up to 250 tons of any payload it needs to orbit. The Starship 1.0, on the other hand, has a maximum payload capacity of only 150 tons if it were a fully reusable rocket. To serve as a reusable colony wagon and a space liner to transport passengers and freight back and forth, you'll need a big spacecraft like that. However, given the cargo size required to construct a self-sufficient community on Mars, Starship 1.0 is insufficient. Elon Musk posted an update on his favorite social networking channel, implying that Starship's orbital maiden flight is on the horizon. Each Raptor 1 engine generates 185 metric tons of thrust. Raptor 2 has just begun development and will have a payload of 230 tons or more than half a million pounds of force. In a tweet, he praised the Raptor 2 engine's greater performance. As a result, the Starship 2.0 would only require less than 60 engines to take off if it were powered by the Raptor 2 engine. SpaceX had a 12-meter diameter ITS rocket design in 2016. It was meant to send 300 tons into orbit and 450 tons to Mars with refueling. The ITS was roughly twice as big as the current Starship Super Heavy, but it carried three times the cargo. The 18-meter Starship 2.0 would have nine times the payload of the Starship if it had similar scalability. The 240-meter rocket would be twice the height of the Statue of Liberty and around 75% of the height of the Eiffel Tower. In many cases, a larger spacecraft is preferable. A larger spacecraft 2.0 that can supply all of the fuel, on the other hand, would greatly simplify things. Furthermore, due to its great size, the Starship must become a fortress to live in for a long period before we finish all of the amenities that will serve the lives of a hundred volunteers who will be the first to set foot on Mars. Another rationale for such an obscenely large Starship could be that Mars requires 600-ton payloads that are difficult to break into 150-ton chunks. In the end, if the Martian colony is to be self-sufficient, they will be unable to conduct manual labor due to the harsh climatic conditions on Mars. They'll need stuff like iron ore excavators, civil aircraft, and gigantic steel factories, things that are difficult to divide into smaller loads. The 9-meter payload bay diameter appears to be a difficulty for some of the items that the Mars colony may require in the future, although the 18-meter Starship 2.0 might be a better option. There's also the matter of Starship 2.0's economics to consider. You don't just build a massive rocket because you have a few billion on hand. Musk said that full reusability and efficient propellant utilization would reduce the cost of each Starship 1.0 launch to just $2 million. However, one trip on the Starship 2.0 is equivalent to eight trips on the Starship 1.0. On the other side, launching eight Starship 1.0s would cost approximately $16 million. As a result, Starship 2.0 will essentially have the same costs for the same payload. The number of passengers in each batch on Starship 2.0 will also increase from 100 to 1,000. The corporation is presently striving to meet the Federal Aviation Administration's environmental impact criteria, which were announced this week by the FAA. The business had wanted to execute the Starship orbital flight test as early as last summer, but delays in development and regulatory certification kept pushing that date back. The FAA issued a critical environmental judgment on Monday, bringing the program's long-awaited evaluation to a close. Before applying for the launch license required for the flight test, SpaceX is anticipated to complete more than 75 of the agency's actions. Musk stated in a series of tweets that he spent Monday evening reviewing work on the rocket at the SpaceX facility in Boca Chica, Texas. He went on to say that the business will have a second Starship stack ready to fly in August, and that flights will be conducted weekly thereafter. What do you think of Starship 2.0? Comment below.